Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas. You're listening to the Never A Straight Answer Christmas Conspiracy Calendar. New episodes every day during the month of Christmas. And here's your hosts, Gaz and Taylor. Hello and welcome to episode four Hello. of our Christmas conspiracy calendar. Yeah. Uh, yeah, today. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, yeah. it's getting into it there. Yeah, man. Yeah, we're actually um, really enjoying this Christmas calendar. I hope yeah. you are too. Yeah. Um, it, make sure I you am. subscribe so you don't miss an episode. Yeah. Um, I, I've got some, some Christmassy facts for you today. Some stuff that you probably didn't know. Yeah. Go on, give it to us. Right. Slap we're always us in the face We're always. I will, well there, cowboy. Yeah. Just want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. Hope everyone's having a good Christmas period so far. Oh, yeah. Um, when do the kids break up? Are they, are they off yet? Are they in? Are they, I don't are they know. They're never in. Do you know what? No, I don't <laughs> know. They're never in, are they, <laughs> yeah. at the moment? All I know is that um, a lot of our listeners say, oh, do you know what? I like sticking the, the podcast on when we're when I'm cooking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, or yeah. doing. So I hope that we're, we're kind of going to be um, like... You know, helping people cooking their Christmas dinners this year. Yeah. Yeah. Helping along. Yeah. Just having a listen to us. But what I'm getting at is if the kids are off school, it's stress for the grown-ups, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's true. It's like kids are running around. As if around, there ain't enough As the if world. there ain't enough to do. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, it's like, um, you know, big up, take me hats off to you guys. Yeah. Doing, doing the hard doing work. Doing a good job. And doing, do you know what I rate about parents at Christmas? What, bringing the future of our uh, generation up? Oh, well, there's that, but, like, keeping the dream alive, do you know what I mean? Like, the Christmas sort yeah. of, um, you know... Spirit. Spirit, yeah, exactly. I mean, the, you know, teaching the kids that, you know, it's... Um, it, it's a good, jolly, it's a, fun It's time. a good holiday. Everybody yeah. can kind of come together. And and not only that, it's just, like, the whole fantasy of it, like, Christmas, Santa... Yeah. Rudolph, Dancer, Prancer, and Vixen. Yeah, I can't remember the other name. It was the one with a red nose. And Rudolph. Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the main, the main character, yeah. Yeah, the main yeah. guy. Yeah. So, yeah, I yeah. It was but it's like, um, I, was, I was watching something and he was, like, saying, oh, yeah, my parents were top, man. They'd, like, you know, do the whole boots in the snow bit yeah, yeah, and yeah. all the rest of it. What about and the lights? Yeah, yeah, a bit half eaten mince pie and stuff. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. buzz off that. You know, yeah, keep, man, keep yeah. kids' lives light up and all that. So, cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, I've got a few Christmas... Um, talking about mince pies. <gasps> yeah. Mince pies. I love a good Got a bit pie. of a... Here's one for you. Right. Technically illegal to eat a mince pie on Christmas Day in England. Yeah. In the 17th century, Oliver Cromwell banned Christmas pudding, <gasps> mince pies, and anything to do with gluttony. Yeah, and the law had never been rescinded. Ah, so, it so still it's still stands to this still, day. So when you're tucking down on your Christmas pudding or mince pies on Christmas Day, it's you're actually illegal. You're illegal. You're all lawbreakers. So if you expect the police knocking on your door or kicking down it because you're doing it, don't worry. I think they'll be at uh, the police station doing exactly the same thing. What, eating a bit of Christmas pudding? Yeah, and yeah. Oh, there you go. Well, well that's well. it. Well, here's another one for you. Santa um, hasn't always dressed in red. No, he hasn't, no. See, pre the 1930s, there was uh, many different variations of Santa. Yeah. Um, sporting varieties of different colour garments and ranging in size from big to small. Some people claim that the modern image of Santa Claus is created by Coca-Cola. Oh, and this is prob- yeah. it's n- isn't strictly true. <clears throat> no. Origins of the red-suited Santa become popular in the US and Canada in the 19th century due to the influence of um, a cartoon by a cartoonist Thomas Nest or Nast. Coca-Cola commissioned their um, depiction of Santa in 1931. Same. So, and there was actually red-suited Santa a bit before Coca-Cola. Yeah. So there you go. So, nice. 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 That's what I see. That's yeah. what I call a fucking Christmas fact, guys. Yeah. You yeah. Got it right there. And if you want another one, you know where to come. Download yeah. us for tomorrow's episode, which Maybe, will be yeah. the fifth yeah, episode in our Christmas advent calendar. The fifth day of December. Fifth on Skin five. On. Uh, do you know what you know what that day is, don't you? Five gold rings. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, we'll have five gold rings tomorrow. We'll take you. Take it. Yeah, we'll try to. 
Right, and okay. that's been I it for it. me. I've been Gaz. I've been Taylor. Peace. Out. You've been listening to an episode of Never A Straight Answers Christmas Conspiracy Calendar. I've been your host, Gaz, and joined in the studio, my co-host, Mr. Taylor. If you've got any questions, comments, or suggestions, you can email us at neverastrayanswer at gmail.com or perhaps visit the website at neverastrayanswer.co.uk. From there, you can check out downloadable episodes, news, blogs, reviews, competitions, and much, much more besides. We'll be counting down the Christmas season with a new episode every day in our Christmas conspiracy calendar, plus a very special freestyle episode on the 21st of December where we'll be answering your Christmas questions. So, if you've not subscribed already, get over to wherever you get your podcast fix and do just that, and we'll catch you on the very next episode of Never A Straight Answer. I've been Gaz, he's been Taylor, and we'll catch you next time. Peace. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.